have uh, in the United States around the world right now. Like we say, okay, well, there is an energy crisis. Well, actually, there is there is a political crisis. We already have a number of ways of producing energy with no CO2 whatever. We have ways to remove CO2 from the atmosphere. They cause serious political problems. We have to figure out how to make all these changes without causing economic disruptions that changes rich people into poor people or eliminates jobs. We need to actually make sure we have jobs for everybody that are better than the ones they have, that pay more than the ones they have, and we need to take all the people who are invested in these various problems and make sure that they get to own the new technologies and they don't really lose any money. The economic problem we solve by creating new industries. There are lots of new industries that we can create. Uh, and the, a lot of the pop problems we have with pollution can be solved with these new energies that we create. Right now, we have electricity produced from coal. This generates CO2, which is about 40% of the CO2 generated in the United States. What we want to do is we want to mitigate that. We want to actually stop burning coal. The solution to that is coal fly ash. It's been produced for decades. The United States has been burning coal for almost 200 years. And we can actually take the product of that burning in the form of ash, and we can process it and we can get silicon, we can get iron, we can get magnesium, aluminum, titanium, and calcium. I have already done that running a skunk works at Rockwell. All of these things can be sold and we can actually make jobs for the people who are currently working in the coal industry and also make money for the people who currently own the coal industry. federal government had this idea that they were going to actually fly nuclear power airplanes. They actually worked in the laboratories at Oak Ridge National Laboratories to develop something they called the Airborne Reactor. This was actually developed, there are two of them sitting on pads at INIL. INIL is the Idaho National Engineering and Environmental Laboratory. What these reactors are made of uh, allows them to actually use melted salt instead of water. If you have water as a reactor coolant, you have to pressurize it. It makes a great big massive facility. But if you use molten salt, it makes a very small facility that runs exceptionally hot and it can be placed in an airplane. These reactors are so hot that they can actually run gas turbines and produce power. They can also supply power uh, for thermal desalinization of water. These reactors have none of the problems that are normally inherent in nuclear reactors. They actually produce 1,000 times less actinides than regular pressurized water reactors. Uh, and so they're exceptionally safe. If the operators just got up and walked away, it wouldn't hurt the reactor at all. It would just shut down all by itself. So we can actually use that to replace existing reactors, and we can also use it to solve California's drought by desalinating water, getting it out of the Pacific Ocean and uh, heating it up, boiling it, etc.